in today's video, we're going to show off the best three Capitol Hall 5 attack strategies in the third ever raid weekend. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show. And today we're over in Battle Elite, who has managed to achieve Capital Peak Level 5. And with that upgrade, the Builder's Workshop District was unlocked, along with the Raid Cart Troop being added to our army's lineup. Also, the Barbarian Camp District was upgraded to Level 3 to include all of its troops and more camp housing space. Now, if you caught our video last week, you got to see the Super Giant, Super Wizard and the brand new rocket balloon in action destroying bases at Capitol Hall level 4. So today we're going to take a look at the most used attack strategies here at Capitol Hall level 5. For army number 1 we have the super giants, sneaky archers and the brand new raid cart. Now that troop is absolutely insane for only being level 1. Now when we look at some of these bases you got to pay attention to the distance between buildings in determining whether you're going to bring more sneaky archers, or are you going to bring super wizards, which is going to be our next army? In this case, we decide to bring the sneaky archers because there's not a lot of buildings that are clustered up together to get a lot of chain value out of them with the super wizards. So just like any other case that you would use giants, we're going to drop super giants backed up by the raid cart. Only two of them, but even though it's just two, these dudes are super OP. They're going to mow down buildings as the super giants break through walls and we're going to hold on to our sneaky archers with the intent to pick off buildings while the defenses are distracted on the super giants we're going to go ahead and speed this up just a little bit because it's very cut and dry the super giants are going to break open walls and the raid carts are going to continue to push forward picking off buildings with the assistance of the sneaky archers we're going to see a little bit of a split in this scenario where we have the super giants and raid cart go to one side and one raid cart and sneaky archers go to the other side we're going to go ahead and zoom right in here and i want you to notice how we have the rocket artillery locked onto one of our raid carts and we decided to bring in sneaky archers to destroy that rocket artillery because that defense is super powerful and it will destroy your super giants really really fast now one of the downsides about the raid cart and the super giant combination is that the raid cart moves a little bit faster than the super giant and unfortunately they will get ahead of the super giants and die for army number two we're going to take a look at a series of attacks from our friend here samurai now he takes down the builder's workshop in exactly two attacks that's very important important to note because we only have five attacks throughout our entire raid weekend unless we unlock the bonus attack so the army that he's going to use is in fact what we pretty much expected throughout the buildup of the last two videos super giants super wizards and the addition of the raid cart i love this army it is so powerful it's crazy so he's going to take on this level one base starting out with some sneaky archers to pick off a spear thrower which is like the equivalent of an archer tower he's going to drop his super giants and his raid carts with his super wizards his super wizards are going to back that up and help take out buildings with the chain lightning ability now you're going to see that he opens up this district really really fast with the giants leading the way dropping the heal spell as everything crosses the bridge and moves into the center of the base now one of the biggest threats on this particular base is actually the log trap as well as the giant cannon but with the assistance of the super wizards and the super giants the raid carts are able to take out that thing really fast they're going to keep pushing forward but unfortunately the heal spell is way back behind his super giants and he's going to in fact lose his tanks which causes is the raid cart to be standing there all by themselves taking on the multi-mortar as well as the district hall we're going to go ahead and speed this up just a little bit that way you can see the results of this particular attack he's also going to get to about 52 percent which is going to cause the hidden teslas 
or the hidden Mega Teslas to reveal themselves. So he's going to go ahead and move back into this attack with the same exact army, but this time around he's going to drop sneaky archers to pick off the Mega Hidden Tesla. And all you need is one pack of sneaky archers to take that thing out before it sees the troops and zaps them. Then he's going to drop his lightning spell, and he's going to move in on the right side with his super giants, his rage barbarian, super wizards, as well as the raid carts. And they're gonna continue to push through these grouped up buildings. I mean, look at all the defenses. They're really tightly packed, which is perfect for the chain lightning ability from the super wizards. They're gonna take out buildings and mow down through the defenses. And then eventually we're gonna see a split between the super giants and the raid carts. There goes the super giants to the right. The raid carts are gonna go to the left. And this is where we get to see how powerful the raid carts really are. They're in there moving in on the giant cannon. The one's gonna take it on by itself. It's gonna finish off that defense and also take out that air defense. On the right side, the super giants were effective with taking down the defenses over there. But yeah, this army right here, you're gonna definitely wanna try it. Now, one of the things about the clan capital thus far is that it might have the appearance that the ground armies are the ones that dominate, but don't forget about your air options. Now, some of these bases, they will stack all the air defensive buildings on one side. So yes, you can come in and take out a lot of those buildings with a ground army, and then come back in and transition into an air army like this. We have the flying fortress, the rocket balloons, minion horde, a heal spell, and the lightning spell. Now, in my opinion, the lightning spell is a little underwhelming, but it can come in kind of useful in scenarios like this. We have the Flying Fortress placed, and we're going to start by taking on cannons and working its way up into the rocket artillery. Now, that rocket artillery is only level one on this particular base because, uh, you know, it's a newer district, but that thing is still very, very powerful. We're going to use rocket balloons to sneak in and try to take on defensive buildings and assist our flying fortress. Flying Fortress is locked onto a hidden Mega Tesla. The rocket balloons are going to go over and assist with the clearance of the rocket artillery. And then we're going to drop another group to go into the air bomb platform. But unfortunately, that building will not fall. So this is where we're going to use our lightning spell and try to zap off the air bomb platform before our Flying Fortress gets into range. There goes the lightning spell. Flying Fortress is free to roam forward, taking on additional defenses. We're going to use the minion horde on the backside buildings to start destruction of the district hall. And then it's going to continue to follow our flying fortress into buildings that are non-defensive. So that was the top three armies that we saw used in our raid weekend that got the most percentage in the least amount of attacks. But let us know what armies you're using if you are playing Capital Hall Level 5 down in the comments below. And if you need Capital Hall Level 4 armies, click this link right here and we will see you in the next video.